Hello everyone, welcome to the second part of how to configure omnichannel routing in Salesforce. Today we'll discuss the second way which is skill-based routing. Skill-based routing is basically a strategy where customers are assigned to agents with the most relevant skills. For example, Spanish-speaking customers are sent to agents that can speak Spanish. Skill-based routing can also be configured via two ways, which is Apex and Flows. Almost all the steps are similar to Q-based routing, but we'll discuss it one by one. First should be going to set up and enabling Omni-Channel Routing. Under Quick Find, type in Omni, Omni-Channel Settings under Omni-Channel. Just click on that. All you need to do is enable Omni-Channel first. And once you enable it, you will see a series of checkboxes in which you'll have to enable skill-based routing and click on save. You are done with your first step. The second step is to create service channel. So service channel is basically a way to communicate within the support system. We basically say to Salesforce that, hey Salesforce, I have created a channel for case. Any case that comes to Salesforce should be routed to the agent automatically. Over here, you need to click on new and create a case. Give a unique name and give the Salesforce object as case. So we are pretty much done with our second step. The third step is very important. The third step is to create skills. So again, under quick find type in skills, under omni channel, you'll find skills. Over here, what does it say? So it, we base, in skill-based routing, we basically map subject to the skills and that way we basically match it and then provide the agent as per requirement so over here just click on new once you click on new over here you need to give the name and the developer name will be auto populated and click on save so i have already created four skills which is os installation product inquiry english and german so now that we have, I have created the skills, I need to assign it to my agents. For that, you need to go to App Launcher, click on Service Resource. So this basically means that one service resource will be treated as one agent. So over here, I have created two service resources. One is Kathy Mehta, the second is Alan Brown. So for Alan Brown, I have also created a user named as Alan Brown. So let's just go to Kathy Mehta. See, so this is one of the agents. The resource type should be agent always. Don't forget. Now that I have created a service resource, I need to assign my skills to service resources. For that, just go to related tab. Over here, you'll see something as skills. Under which you just click on new and just follow the information, just give the skill, maybe German, give the skill level and an appropriate date. So for, for here, I have given Kathy Mehta as OS installation and English. Let's see what we have given to the other you, uh, agent, which is Alan Brown. So the same way, just go to related and check. So for Kelpie Meta, we have given OS installation and English. And for Alan, we have given product inquiry and job. That means any case related to OS installation or English should be, should be routed to Kelpie. And any case related to product inquiry or job should be routed to Alan. We have created our service resources. We have created our skills. The next step is to create present statuses. So just hover around to set up. At a quick find, type in present status under only, you'll find present status. It's the same as QBase routing, it works the same way. So, over here, I have created online and busy under present status. It's the same way, you just need to click on new, just type in the name. It says on a break, that means it's busy, and click on save. So, I have created two more uh, present statuses. Once I have created present statuses, I need to assign it to my profiles. So profiles as an agent's profile. 
So in my case, there are two agents, Khyati and Alan. Both of these agents have system administrator as their profile. So just hover around the system administrator. Don't click on edit. Click on system administrator. Click on enable service present status as access. Click on edit. And all the statuses that are present here, you just need to give it to here and click on save. So now that we have we have created our present statuses and assigned it to our profile. The next step is to route this work items through Apex. So just go to developer console. And I have already created a Apex class named the skill based routing demo class under which I've already written the code. Let's understand what, what does it do step by step? So the first step is to create PSR. What is PSR? PSR is basically pending service request. This creates request for case, but think it as in a draft state. The second step is to create skill requirement for case. This means what, what the skills are required to address for a given case. Third step is to update service request to proceed. This means the request is ready to rock and roll, so push it into the queue. From here, Salesforce will take care. So our targeted output is, if case raises and subject has words matching with any skills, then that case needs to be assigned to the person or agent who is having those skills. So over here, the method that we have is routing cases to agents. So this method will basically have the logic to route the cases. So this method will obviously need some cases. When it, wherever or whenever cases are created, those cases should be forwarded to this method. So that's the reason we need to give an input parameter, which is fetching case IDs. So over here we have this case IDs. So we need to have query on case first so that we will have all the case details. Basically, we just need the case subject here because based on that, it will match the cases with the agents. So we have our cases and we need to create PSR for each case. If there is one case, it will create one PSR. But if there are multiple cases, then it will create multiple PSRs. So we need to loop through all the cases which were inserted so in here, we need to create PSR for each case inserted. I have created an instance of the objects and next on what work item will put this PSR. So I have taken all the uh, required fields that I need. Over here, you see something as service channel ID. So it says use your own service channel ID always. What you need to do is just go to setup and type in service channel. Hover around to your service channel and you'll see an ID being generated over here. So just copy it. Just copy your ID. Go to your developer console and just paste it. So this is how you use your own service channel ID. Now we are done. We are quite done with our first step. The second step says we, we basically want to match the skills with the case subject. For that, we will run again a loop through all the skills and skill rec. Inside, we will check that if the case subject is containing any of the skills and if it is matching, we will store the skill IDs. Now that we have all we have all our skill IDs, but we need to associate the skill IDs with the PSR. Firstly, we need to run through all the loop inside, create an object and need to tell which skill we are associating. Skill level is basically nothing. It runs from one to 10, five being the average. We are done with our second step. The third step is just pushing our request to the queue and just updating our PSR. Now that we have created our method, this method needs to be called from somewhere, right? So the standard ways are to either write a trigger or create a process builder. In our case, I have created a process builder. So just hover around to setup 
click on process builder and see I have created a process builder. What I have done is I have just taken case as the object and over, over in the criteria I have given the case subject should not be null. So if the case subject is null, that means how will match out with our still IDs, right? So the case subject should not be null. If this criteria seems to be true, then the action should be we are just calling our Apex class over here, which was still based routing demo class. And we had a variable, so we are matching it to the field of fields. And just click on save and activate this process builder. So we are done with our with all our steps. Let's go and check whether this is working or not. So we will just make Kathy Meta online and let's check whether it's working or not. So over here for Kathy Meta, we had skills as OS installation and English. So let's just create a case with these words as in subject. I'll only give all the required fields for now and let's just give OS installation in English. And once I click on save, save. So this is how the skill based routing works. It basically checks the subjects and match, matches up with the skills that are provided to the agent and then routed to the particular agent. Hope this was helpful. Thank you all.